All right, it is 9.17. You guys see the fake clouds, right? See all that haze around the sun? Okay, you guys, um, comments are going to be turned off because uh, we're, at, we're at that narrow point now where people are going to be uh, choosing what they're going to be doing. People are going to be following what they're going to be following. And there's nothing um, at this point, you guys, if the Spirit of God isn't already... <clears throat> got your eyes open where you're going to see, you know. There's nothing I'm going to say that's going to change anything. And you guys, I've got like probably over 4,000. It says I have 3,900. There's two more years of videos out there before that, okay. Um, from 2014. And you guys just seen that spirit that just came through the car? Yeah, this place is, it's infested. I got my cousin Scoffer has been making videos against me for years. They're doing, they're fulfilling Bible prophecy. They're showing me like I got a lot of tattoos and stuff. Yeah, I do. On my back, everything, you know. Let me tell you, I was a licensed contractor in Clearwater, Florida from 2001 to 2014. When I knew what I was shown and everything, everything that's coming, I made a choice to lay all this stuff down. I counted the cost. I walked away from this. You guys, this life isn't but a moment, and everybody here is to be tried to see what type of faith they have. Well, they're carrying guns in the churches today. They're doing whatever they got to do to hold on to their jobs. They're not counting the cost of what it is to be a disciple, to follow Christ. He said if you don't count the cost, and if you're not willing to lay down everything, you're not... You're not fit to be a disciple of Christ, okay? I walked away from everything, okay? It doesn't matter. I did it. I've been warning people for a long time. I do it more than just YouTube. I do it with people I meet daily, every day, everywhere, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Whenever I come in contact, this is all I think about. Now, I'm going to read some scriptures, you guys, and I want you to please pay very close attention to this. I may not be making as many videos all the time, okay? Because uh, there's no point in it. You know, but a lot's been said, okay? Churches are asleep. They're hirelings in the pulpit. They're asleep. You got wolves sitting around you in the pews in the churches. The judgment of God begins with them. They've long ago, long ago took over these churches. So just because you got a smiling face coming up to you, man... This is why it's important that you know the Word of God so you can try the spirits that are in each one of us, okay? All of us. I'm not saying I'm excluded here. I know that I am, and I battle with these things constantly. They're always coming up against us, man. The Word of God says corruptible. We have to take off this corruptible flesh. Now, Jesus also said sin no more or something worse can happen to you. That's true. You have to be willing to sin. You know, if you're sinning and you know you're doing it, um, you've got some devil's got a real strong hold on you. I'm not. I know I'm not. Because this is how I live every day. This is how I think every day. Not just part of the day, but the whole day. This is why I don't have any business anymore. This is why um, I lost everything. Okay? Because you can't try to please man and God. You can't do it. You're going to pick who you're going to follow. And that's going to be it. Alright? You want to know you judge? You're going to be your own judge on everything that you're doing. You're going to be judged according to your ways. Okay? Here we go. Romans 12, 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. 
and you guys pretty soon, you know, these mockies wanted to get on me about, you know, my business. I lost my business and people helped me while I went around trying to warn people. Yes, people did help me. Does that make me a bum? No, not at all. Jesus Christ had people helping him too, didn't he? When he ran around preaching and teaching the word of God. You know, Jesus used to be a carpenter, but when he went and did what he did, he forsook it all to get out into the word. Guys, I forsook it all to get out into the word. Not to listen to people saying 222 is this and 222 is that. Or, you know, Jonathan Clegg. I, this is all nonsense. It's doctrines of devils. You better be 100% pure into the word. And you better shut off your YouTube and get away from it all. That's why I'm telling you. Because if you don't, you're going to be deceived by these people. They're everywhere. And even more so now because we're closer to the end now than we ever been. This is very close. Like I said, nobody's going, don't be anxious either. They can rapture any moment. Because I said that. It's not going to happen. When you see mayhem start. And see, then you're going to be even further tried. The people with the guns, you're going to be tried. You don't even know it. But you've been made to be tried from the beginning. Because God has, from the beginning, knew in your heart you would be doing what you're doing today. You know? So if you're choosing to follow Christ and faith in him, nothing else, you don't have any weapons or anything, God bless you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, trust in him alone. All right. 1218. If it be possible, as men much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Remember, Jesus said, forgive them, Father. But they know not what they do. Okay? But they know not what they do. That's because these are devils in them. Romans twelve nineteen. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place under the wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if thy enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For in so doing, you will reap heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Lord, be ready to lay your lives down, you guys, if it comes down to it. Many of us are going to be taken. Many of you are going to be hidden because you're not carrying the weapons. You're not worried about it. You're trusted in the Lord alone. This is where we have to repent of our whole lives. We were deceived from everything, from school, everywhere. All right, this Everybody throughout the generations were tried. Okay, You're being tried even now. All of them. Churches, they fell a long time long time ago. All right. Matthews 5.39. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on their right cheek, turn also the other side. Let them have the other side too. And if any man will sue thee at law and take away your cloak, your coat, let him have your cloak also. Give it to him. Trust in the Lord. He'll make sure you get another one. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him too. The Lord knows what your needs are. He said it. He knows it. Trust in him. Don't worry about it. I told you, I'm sitting in a cabin in the woods, man. I asked for a cabin. Guess what? There was two of them with a bunkhouse. The Lord's known from the beginning this, this woman was going to sell everything she had. She counted it all and she said, and she sold everything she had. That's why she's in a second cabin right next to me. And there's a bunkhouse behind us. I didn't know her when I asked for it either. Matthews, and nobody knew that I asked for this. It's a year and a half later. Give to him that ask of thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not away. Don't listen to these mockers, man. They're wicked. I'm only cutting these comments because of all the garbage. They're coming in trying to cause strife, division, problems. We're at the end, you guys. Buckle up and put your faith in trusted Christ. Luke 9, 54. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou all that we commend fire to come down from heaven and to consume them, even as Elias did? Jesus turned to him and he said, and he rebuked them and he said, You don't know what manner of spirit you are. You see what I'm saying? He even told them then. They had a different spirit in them saying that. This is spiritual warfare, you guys. 
We compass no man evil. Okay? Don't don't be glad when you see something happening to them either. You don't you're not glad. I'd rather see these people turn from their sins. Turn to Christ and stop it. But they they won't. It's we're in an evil time. Most people ain't gonna make it. Yeah, but I don't take joy in their suffering either. Alright. The son, the son of man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Okay, then they went to another village. First Peter 2.21 For even hereunto you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that you should follow his steps. He didn't, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, he reviled not again. When he suffered... He threatened not, but he committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. You see, this is God's wrath coming down now, man. You know, be following Christ. Do what he did. Be ready. You know, don't look to do anything. You know, don't wish no evil on these people. You don't have to. God's going to deal with it. But anyway, you want them to turn from it, well, they can. See, I'm saying this even for these people that hate me. You know? Now, who are you following? Jesus' teachings? Are we not seeing, see today in the churches? They have false people in the churches today. They are turning things upside down. Okay? They're not following Christ. If they were, they wouldn't be carrying guns. If they were, they'd be ready to walk away and leave everything. If they were, they'd be warning people about what they're putting into their bodies today. They're not. What is coming on the judgment is this world and everything that's in it. All should repent, submit yourself to the Lord, not to another man. These churches fell long ago. That's why judgment is here. Okay? Have no fear. Matthews 10, 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that will not be made known. God's making this come out, not these people with two, two, two. Jonathan Cleck, you don't have to follow that nonsense. They're, they're leading you away from the gospel, the truth. <clears throat> and fear them not that kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father, but the very hairs on your head are numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, you are more valued than many sparrows. This is how you got to be living in faith. These people ain't teaching this, I'm telling you. They're just trying to make you feel good about sin and the world. Satan's a prince of this world. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him shall I confess before my Father which is in heaven. Whoever shall deny me before men, him also shall I deny before my Father which is in heaven. All right? Don't think that I came to uh, send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I've come not to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter against the mother-in-law. A man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that doesn't take his cross up and follow me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life here will lose it. He that loseth his life here for my sake will find it. So you see these mockers that hate me so much? Going to call me a bum and everything? Yeah, I walked away from it. I did. And I made a choice. I wasn't going to deny Jesus' name. See, that was what part of their bargain. Deny, they said, speak less of him. We'll turn your life around and make you wealthy. I said, that'll never happen. Well, I lost everything. I made that choice. I counted it all up, as, as Paul said, dung to gain Christ. All right? Now, are you ready? Are you willing to lose whatever you have to walk away from it? Ask yourself, are you counting the cost? All right, then Jesus said to his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever will save his life will lose it. Whoever will lose his life for my sake will find it. 
For what is a man profit if he should gain the world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man give for an exchange for his soul? That's what you're here for, people. Your whole life was based on this, to see what you're worthy of. If you're going to be consuming yourself with stuff of this world, because, see, we're not going to have stuff all around us in the kingdom of heaven. You'll have what you need at that moment, then it will be gone until you have a need for it. Okay? I know. I've seen it. For the Son of Man is, shall come in, his, in the glory of his Father with angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there will be some standing here which shall not taste death, Till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Alright. Luke 14.25 And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and he said unto them. If any man comes to me. And he hates not his father. And his mother and his wife. And his children and brethren and sisters. Yeah. Even his own life. He cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his cross. And come after me. Cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth down first, and count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? Lest happily, after you have laid the foundation, it is not able to finish it. You guys, when he's saying finish it, that means you might have to walk away from everything. And then keep walking, and don't seek to save your life here. Alright? All that, behold it, begin to mock him. Okay? When he said this, a lot of people that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, sitteth down first and consults whether he be able to with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? Or else the other is yet a great way off. He sendeth an embassy to desire conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if the salt lost its savior, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It's neither fit for the land nor fit for the dunghill, but men cast it out, and that it and he that has ears let him hear. Okay, now I'm going to read a little bit. Uh, a commentary on Mr. Myers here. Here we have our Lord's use of the winnowing fan amid the teeming crowds. He knew that there would be many light and superficial souls who had not realized the cost involved in discipleship. Mark, the thrice repeated words, cannot be my disciple. Cannot be my disciple. Our love must be greater than the ties of family affection. Luke fourteen twenty six and 27. Uh, if any man comes to me and hates not his father and mother, his wife, children, brother and sisters, even his own life, he can't be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So likewise, whoever... He is of you that forsaketh not all that he has. He cannot be my disciple. Okay? Christ has done more than any other teacher to cement the relationship of human love. But he always asks that they should be uh, subordinated to the claims of God. Oh, for the love that Paul had. See uh, Philippians 3, 8. You doubtless, I count all these things, but dung, the loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do not count them, but dung, that I may win Christ. Okay, so you guys, when mockers and scoffers want to come against you because you chose to follow Christ, in the day of evil here, yeah, I've walked away from it all. But I've been following Christ every day. And I would do it again. And you know what? I'm going to continue doing it until I'm done. What a comfort it is to realize that God counted the cost before he, he set about the task of redemption. Whether of 
a world or of, a, of an individual. He knew all that it would cost. And he surely, he did not begin what he cannot complete. Okay? Remember, he sent Jesus Christ here to finish it, didn't he? Jesus said, not my will, but yours be done, Father. Philippians 3, 7. But what things were gained to me, those I count loss for Christ. Yeah, doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. I do count them but dung, and I may win Christ. So you guys, these makus and scoffers want to make their videos out there, listen to their voices. Listen to what they're really about. Are they teaching or are they telling you what it is to follow Christ? That we're going to lose things? You guys, what do you think is going to happen here pretty soon? All these people that forsook everything of Christ to keep their jobs, to put that garbage in themselves, to keep their jobs. What do you think is going to happen when they all lose their jobs and then they're going to look back and they listen to people that mocked me? Because I chose to follow Christ long ago. You know, there's no retirement. The only retirement plan I got is my spirit to be as Christ is. That's my, that's what I long to see. Okay. Now, precept must be upon precept, line upon line. The false teachers who dogged Paul's steps. Now, I'll repeat that. Who dogged Paul's steps. They insisted on rigid comfort to Judaism with its uh, radical exceptions as a condition of being saved by Christ. Paul's answer was that he had gone through all the requirements of Judaism. Paul did it all. That's why he said he, he was circumcised on the eighth day. Okay? he gone through all the requirements, but he found it absolutely unsatisfactory and insufficient to subdue the sin of his soul. But in Christ, he found everything he needed. What had been gained to him now seemed but dross. He had found the pearl of great price, and he was only too glad to sacrifice everything to purchase and keep it as a talesman of complete victory. The essence of Judaism was not external, but within. True circumcision was deliverance from the self-life, you know, and only could be gained by the cross of Christ. Okay, you guys, be careful. It's really wicked out there, man. I'm cutting the comments. I'm just stopping and I'm you know, done with it, okay? I want you to read uh, Proverbs 24, 17. Proverbs 24, 18. Proverbs 24, 19, 20. And then uh, John 8, 43. All right. 8, 43 through uh, 45, 46, 47. 8.43 to 8.47 in John, okay? Read that. Then uh, that's where Jesus is going to be saying, why can't you hear what I'm saying? Because they are of a different spirit. And he says it clearly. You are of your father, the devil. So you guys, there's a lot of it all around us, okay? There's a lot of it. It's all around us, okay? It's, it's worse. It's going to get a lot worse. Main thing is when it's happening... You need to rest in the Lord, in Christ, and uh, it's going to be happening all around us. You're going to be seeing people doing things to people. Don't have a spirit of fear. If you don't have a gun in your house, you're not going to go grabbing it. A lot of people, if you got it there and, and all of a sudden you get fearful and you grab it, then you're going to have problems because your faith isn't going to be like it should be in Christ. You know? Uh, these are things that were invented and made by man. This life is but a test. <clears throat> all right, you guys. God bless each and every one of you. All who repent, call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died and raised on the cross. Um, you will be saved. And uh, the time is very close, you guys. Don't be led away with uh, 
these people, like I said, it's spiritual. You can't test a spirit if you don't know the Word of God. That's why you got to start reading it. Stay away from these people that are talking anything else, you know. Listen, even the church will read you gospel and everything like that. But then they're not, it's what they're not teaching you, okay? They're not teaching you about having your faith. They're also, they're not warning people about this. Um, there's wolves in there, you guys. They can preach and sound good, but then they can give you that one thing that's going to sink the ship. The Titanic. That's what this place is like. It's a Titanic and it's about to go under. Okay? Um, submit yourself to the Lord. You don't have to submit yourself to another man. God bless you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.